Hi, Cancer Moons. Thank you so much for being here. I am Divine Tim Care 144. Very happy, grateful, and blessed to bring you this reading. This reading is designed for those who have their moon sign in the zodiac sign of Cancer. Unlimited to anyone who should find this message. <laughs> should this message find you? For this reading, I will be doing a three card spread, past, present, and future, using the Melanated Classic Tarot deck. I'm going to clarify those three cards using the Halloween Tarot deck. I have already pre-shuffled all of the decks. I will shuffle the first deck just a few more times and split the deck and begin your read. Before I do that, I would like to um, also say happy full moon to all of you. A very beautiful Piscean time right now as the full moon is in Pisces sidereally. I am a Pisces moon, and um, it feels fantastic. The card that we have here, full moon in Pisces, is balance, spirituality, and practicality. And so what I was getting with this is that for more watery signs, this is just being a call to that practicality, staying balanced, being mindful of this, as with the full moon, there is a tendency to uh, get a little fishy there. <laughs> but I do feel overall this is a special message from Pisces to really truly embrace this nostalgic energy, this dreamy energy, where it can get away from you. And that just, again, it's just being slight energy, I feel. Nothing too serious. Have fun. But make sure to stay balanced. Let me go ahead and I'll grab the reading for this. And as I do that, I would also like to speak on the background. This being one of the backgrounds for Virgo. And so when I channeled this, it didn't come to me right away. Um, I just I had to sit and think about it. And like a virgin came to me with Virgo being the virgins. But then seeing everything put together, it all made sense. These two energies are polarity energies here. And so I do feel that you're embracing this energy for sure here and supportive energy coming through with that balance from Pisces to say and let it be known that there is balance because we do have the Virgo energy that's here. Very beautiful energy that came through overall. I love it. I love it. This was great. So um, with the earthy energy from Virgo and that practicality coming through, we're already there. We're already winning, right? So let me go ahead and uh, grab the reading for this card. Pause that. Let's see, I'll put this over here so we can cast the shadow. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. Full moon in Pisces. Have you been so head in the clouds that you've lost touch with reality? If so, take this card as a sign that you need to pay attention and make a concerted effort to move towards your goals. The more practical steps you can take, the better. It's time to find an inner balance between your responsibilities and your dreams. Meditate on your question and the solutions to your issue may now come through very clearly. If you're in a tricky situation because you've been acting the martyr, this card will be a message from the cosmos to drop the act for everyone's sake. Attend to the moon by meditating every day and see what comes to you. Answers will come. Additional meanings for this card. You're in a super romantic but not super realistic state. Follow your intuition. It won't let you down. At worst, this card can herald the end of a dream. And the person you're inquiring about is a soulmate. Meow. Avoid substance abuse. The teaching. Pisces. <laughs> I crack myself up. <laughs> Spirit. The whole team. That's awesome. All right. The uh, the teaching here, Pisces is the last sign of the Zodiac. 
So the full moon in Pisces symbolically, symbolically marks endings. When the moon is full in Pisces, or whenever you pull this card, it's a time to dive deep into your emotions. Practicality is at odds with the numinous Piscean energy that has no borders. So feel your way now. Psychic ability is heightened when the full moon is in Pisces and soulmates now connect. It's also a time to send out your dreams to the universe, releasing your fears. If you know any Pisces moons, do send them some love. I do appreciate your continued love and support. right about here your first card for your past okay no reversals it is so guided not to do reversals in the past we have these seven of wands and i'm just getting this being resistance and i'm not getting this as being you this could be you do take what resonates but for a lot of you i'm getting this being action that was taken against you. Someone being on the defense. And now seeing the split, it could be very much so between you and a soulmate here. This overall energy being between you both here, that was blocking the success between a connection. Six of Wands being down here, and that just being about victory overall. Having a new start <laughs> between you both, not realizing that you both resisting was blocking your overall victory of being together here. A river runs through it is what I'm getting here, seeing the water. So that may resonate for you. I do believe that's a movie. So whether you've seen it or not, that may be something for you to check out. I might even check it out myself. It sounds pretty interesting. Sevens are about being on the right path. This is also Libra energy. So very possible you could be dealing with someone who's a very strong soulmate, soulmate who has Libra very strongly in their chart. I'm seeing that seven being split as a five, five being transformative change, two being high priestess energy. So possibly fighting a telepathic connection here. There may have been some denial. And denial just ain't a river in Egypt. So I'm also getting that too with this energy here. Um, with the soulmate energy, I am getting six of cups here too. That six coming before the seven. So an established six of cups partnership here. And I feel with that recognition, because it's so strong, this being a part of this overall resistance, neither one of you being ready and that being a part of this energy here that is now in your past. So victory, do we have here? Because this is a past energy. Let's see what we have going for your present. This is fire energy. Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, and a Fugus. Yeah. <laughs> the truth coming through. This uh, being a delivery of truth. I do feel this is a bad expression that's being shared. Even though this is swords energy. I feel it's connected to that high priestess energy of the telepathy that's coming through. Knowing the truth and living in truth. No longer denying the truth or fighting the truth. And being in this truth full-fledged here. Allowing yourself to flow with this energy. That being a part of the Pisces energy. Um, with this full moon here. But I do feel that this is about more clarity that's coming in here too. And a new start with the foundation that is built on that clarity 
and uh, greater knowledge and wisdom, accepting that knowing that was a part of some denial, right? Ace energy has uh, the energy of all brand new and having nothing to do with the past. Swords is air, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So even more Libra energy, where it could be a Libra person here that you're connected to, now wanting to be upfront. Full frontal energy here. And I'm getting this as me. <laughs> Full exposure. Take that as it resonates. But what I am seeing, I cannot uh, share in this video. <laughs> uh, pretty spicy energy. I do feel this is about, again, with those expressions, these being very deep expressions that are being shared. And that being the call to that balance between spirituality and practicality, where I do feel it's about the dreaminess, but then also being grounded and maintaining this so that um, you can continue to take delight in what's happening in your life right now, which I do feel is a very beautiful energy. This being a wonderful card here for your present. Purple energy, that just being a part of that crown energy and also the third eye energy. Speaking to that strong, deep telepathy that's shared between you and another person. The true air man or woman, but I'm hearing the true air man is what's coming through here. This being a divine gift for both you and your person. But most importantly, I feel that this is about um, some reparations and Things being returned back unto you due to what was experienced in the past here. And this could be equal exchange. I do feel that this is about you also having open perspective and realizing the role and the part that you played here too as well. Where there may have been um, with the Libra energy and that Seven of Wands connection and balance between you and your person. It Takes Two by Rob Bass is what I'm hearing as well. So the as within, so as without energy also coming through. But someone really loves you and I feel that it's an equal exchange here. You really love someone too. They're just being a really deep, uh, really deep denial on this just possibly due to the hurt that was coming through from the resistance there. And this just being a process that was being worked through as I'm seeing the heart chakra energy was something that was being worked on as well as the solar plexus. Solar plexus having a lot to do with confidence and self-worth and value. Loving oneself there too as well. So this both being a transformative energy with that five coming through for you and your soulmate doing that work and now being in a place here of healing and um, some great truth and clarity coming through for you and your person but most importantly you for your future oh all i can do is smile at this not to be redundant, but there's been a lot of congratulations that's going on for all of the signs lately, getting into these newer portions of these readings, this newer phase here that we're coming into. I am seeing fire energy connected to this full moon in Pisces, and this being about that deep passion and love that's coming through, connected to this wheel of fortune here. This is beautiful. The devil energy being released here. I feel that's about the healing that's coming through. With the truth coming through, it's allowing those lower vibrational negative energies to dissipate and move away. And for all that gold energy that's really a part of your destiny and your fate here being brought to light. Knowing the truth from within oneself when it comes to another here, acknowledging this. And now the universe seeing you through here with this will of fortune where things are turning in your favor and those abundant blessings are continuing as I feel that they've already been coming, but this being something really truly major here for you and your person. Seeing the books, 
held by each of these signs here. Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, and Scorpio. And then Egyptian vibes are coming through. The energy of 10 for this card representation here. Speaking to the endings of heartache. Acknowledging the love that's from within with that fire energy, the passion that one feels, the desire, the warmth, the gracefulness, but also the equal exchange and the sharing and that deep amount of emotion and love that's shared between you and someone else here. Being a part of this, this beautiful fortune that's coming through on this wheel here. The shift is taking place as more truth continues to come through and be delivered on this new foundation here, just as you wished it to be and also your soulmate. And for some of you, I'm hearing, where am I getting soulmate? The energy of two, that two also being about two of cups energy there too as well. So strong partnership with that two of cup. Cups being your energy, water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and a few guys. With this 10 though, this being Saturnian energy, and I feel that um, it's also about that perspective where Saturn energy can be looked at as a big papa energy that is very disciplinary. Saturn being one of the most benefic planets, if not the most benefic. I know Jupiter gets a lot of cred for being very benefic, and it is, but uh, I do feel that Saturn has a... Uh, more of a reputation of being more disciplinary and wanting to stay away from it, but it actually being very abundant. When you do the work, the work comes through for you, and that being what Saturn mainly represents. You don't get something for nothing. In this life, I should say, I feel that's a part of the opportunity to be here on Earth is... Um, Instead of being out there in the cosmos and the galaxies, free at flight and uh, knowing what that really truly is all about, part of the mission being here on Earth in that grounded energy is to be able to dream, but also to have that practicality. It goes back to the beautiful full moon in Pisces energy, balancing spirituality and practicality with the opportunity to be here on Earth. That wheel also representing the earth energy there too. With that devil energy, I'm getting that just being a part of 3D energy. The sleepiness shifting away. More awakening coming through and that being connected to that ace of sword there too. Things turning in your favor for sure. For you and your person here. Your dreams are coming too is what I'm hearing there. No lollygagging around that. Let's get to your beautiful clarifiers. Treasures is also what I'm hearing here too, with that gold energy coming through. I'll clarify these seven of wands. That's a lot of cards, and it all fell on that Ace of Swords, that truth energy there. We have the Queen of Ghosts, the Six of Bats, Ghosts being Cups energy, so this being the Queen of Cups, the Six of Bats, Bats being Swords, the King of Swords, the King of Bats. And the, <laughs> the four ghosts, ghosts being cups. All right, so this is um, counterpart energy that I'm getting here. We have male and female energy, masculine and feminine. And I am seeing, <laughs> I'm seeing this energy. Um, of this queen. Who has. Um, moved away. Moved themselves away from a king of. King of swords energy here. 
And I feel that King of Bats is connected to that resistance. I do feel that um, the reason for this King of Bats being in that King of Bats energy, the King of Swords energy where it can be a very cutthroat, very cold, icy energy, is just due to what was taking place by the experiences from this King of Bats coming from this four bills. So overall, I'm getting that these two energies, you and your person here. We're just very bored. Very bored. And in a place that needed that healing. So I feel that's where that's coming from you both here. But you both coming together in this way in order to have the clarity that comes from the situation of a moving away here with that six of bats there. Because this is more connected to the king of bats here, this four of ghosts here. And this four of ghost energy can be about not taking an opportunity. And the reason that I say that you both were bored, I feel that, you know, you and your soulmate are one in the same energies here, where you both embrace these energies. It's interchangeable is what I'm getting. So it's not just one particular person being in this energy and then one particular person being in this energy. I feel that you both played a role here where you both had times where you came together and it's being very common for the twin flame journey with twin flames coming together. And if you don't resonate with twin flames, this could be a very strong soulmate energy. That's beyond the typical soulmate energy. But I do feel that this is about the way that soulmates who are destined to be together manifest themselves to be with one another in the physical and this being the workings here. So having an opportunity, possibly taking it for granted, And that was coming through earlier with this gift being more, I feel, dedicated to you and about you. But I do feel that um, you both, you realizing the role that you played there too as well. So both of you being on the spectrums of these energies here. Of the King of Bats and the Queen of Ghosts. Both taking the energies um, here from this four ghosts, having the opportunity and taking it for granted. And I'm just seeing the ghost here, like the happiness coming from these ghosts, these being cups, <laughs> your energy here with the trick or treat yummies and, you know, trying to cheer people up. You both, I feel this is about you both being, um, bored because you missed each other. You had come together being strong telepathy energy. So not necessarily come to, coming together in the physical and that being a part of this energy here too. Nothing else will do is what I'm getting. And you both knowing this, but still being in these energies here, loving one another, but then fighting with one another here. Is what I'm getting there. I'm also getting that um, both of you had outside energies that you also had to move away from as well. So while working on that, and this going back to the spirituality and the practicality, while working on that spirituality, the situations in the practical world also needing to be taken care of. And I feel that with you both doing that inner work, that contributing to the success of completing that outer work, and then the foundation Starting back at the one here. I'm hearing Brian McKnight's uh, back at one. Starting back at the one. You're coming together here on this foundation of truth. Recognizing self, but also how much it is that you really truly matter to one another here. And no longer being in a place to take this for granted. This being in the past. Overall, taking each other for granted. Being bored, but not really doing anything. I shouldn't say not really doing anything. 
but being in such resistance that neither one of you wanted to work on this and that's where that six of bats is coming from here so i could say attempting to move away from one another but um i do feel with these cards here there is a coming together here this is also an energy of you here with the four energy fourth house energy and then the four cards here. So four, four coming through. That could be significant for you. Mainly what I'm getting is that that masculine energy. And I'm just getting that for both of you. Because I do feel, again, you both have been in these energies here. Interchanging. Flip-flopping. <laughs> I can't remember what election that was in. Or from. U.S. election. The flip-flopping that's coming through too. <laughs> but this uh, six of bats most definitely is about moving away from what no longer serves. And I do feel that as you both came together, each of you embraced one of these energies, take your pick at whatever time, and then came back together, separated, came back together until you finally figured it out, realizing possibly after a long period of time, how much it is that you really truly care about one another and the feelings are undeniable. The Queen of Ghosts is a very loving energy that is mainly your energy with the Cancerian energy, Cancer representation there. And um, I feel that the Cup energy is very helpful for you both there. So I'm seeing this ghost being one of these ghosts here and the four ghosts overall there. As higher self energy possibly here to keep you guys going and to keep you guys connected and staying together and not giving up on one another as well. Because of the denial here. <laughs> that was um, blocking both of your successes in coming together physically here. Each of you, and we have uh, show you the way to go. What I'm getting is that each of you wanting to be the leader here. <laughs> Realizing that um, in coming together and working together, you both can be a part of this here. Neither one of you has to be the designated leader. And that could be a part of that 3D energy and the conditioning coming from this devil energy that's now moving away. You both realizing that you need one another. You are one and the same masculine and feminine energy here, connected. Neither one of you has power over the other. But when you come together to work together, it can create something quite beautiful. And that even though you may felt you may have felt that um, an opportunity was missed here, everything happens the way that it's supposed to. Let's clarify the Ace of Swords. This is so cute. Clarify the Ace of Swords. That wanted to pop. We'll go ahead and take it. Let's do one more. Clarify the Ace of Swords. We'll see if we get any poppers. Alright, so we'll look at these. Let's look at this first. We have the Ten of Amps, the Ten of Wands, Amps being Wands, Fire Energy. So this being the end of burdens, I feel that this is about the, del the delivery of truth as to why there was so much resistance. Both of you hiding the fact that you had so much burden here. Not wanting to be vulnerable and show the other or give the other. I feel if you, I feel both of you felt that being in these energies here where Queen of, Queen of Ghosts energy has a uh, strong depth of emotion there, being able to fall into one's feelings very, very easily. Because I'm getting um, very strong 
differences and spectrums here with that king of bats being like that cutthroat energy coming through and it just being very precise but then the queen of ghosts being that on and on and on and on so these being completely opposite energies where again i feel that both of you are embracing these every now and then from time to time interchanging these energies and all the while having this going on underneath the surface here but working this all out realizing what was no longer serving and that um there was a heavy amount that was um, being carried here by both of you by not sharing and expressing your feelings with one another. And so with um, that denial from within and not recognizing the truth or wanting to recognize, I should say, or express the truth from within about how you really truly felt about one another, it was creating burden on the outside. So that being a part of how it is that you both are coming together here as a part of this Ace of Swords foundation here. Realizing that if you do share what it is that you've gone through with one another, you can work through it together and you don't have to carry it by yourself. And it's not going to be a burden for the other person. The other person, which is a part of you, is there to help you and to see you through and support you and love you. So the two cards we have, ooh, three cards we have is the Queen of Pumpkins, the Eight of Pumpkins in Reverse, and the Three of Imps. Three of Wands in Reverse. I'm getting this thing connected to an ending when it comes to third party. No longer working on a situation that's connected to a Queen of Pumpkin energy here. The Queen of Pumpkin energy is facing towards the past here. So I do feel that this is about a past energy that you, both you and your person have been dealing with. Releasing and no longer working on this. The Eight of Pumpkins being about work here. Working on something that has to do with, um, you know, what mattered to you at some point here. Pumpkins being uh, pinnacle energy. Earth energy. Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. So this being a part of your shadow work with the Capricorn energy coming through. And then um, overall with this three of imp here, I do feel that this is about also to manifesting and not just third party energy. Given that we do have the imp energy, I was automatically picking up third party energy. Seeing the difference here with the different wands that are being held there. And I'm getting twin flame. Seeing those two flames, twin flame energy being here, the third party energy being here with the leaves. And I'm hearing one of these things is not like the others. So the clarity coming through with the truth of a situation that was a burden connected to Queen of Pumpkin energy here. And because of this, it being worked on and there being an ending here with that 10 there. With this 10 coming through, it's creating this 10 here in the Wheel of Fortune and the supportive energy from the universe overall here. Very simple. And I do feel that the difficulty uh, very much had to do with the amount of nurturance and love that was coming through from this Queen of Pumpkins. But it just not being what was meant to be. So being a strong soulmate partnership, that was abundant. But it not being, um, again, something that's a part of the plan here. It being about um, an energy in passing that was designed to help one to pick up and gain certain tools, certain support for what was needed at the time of this taking place. And then even so, with this Ten of Amps, it also being burdensome, as much of um, a significance that it had and how strong it was, and automatically what I'm seeing here are those leaves right here. 
connected to this queen of pumpkin that again speaking to this energy just not being a part of what is to be a continuance here between two very strong soulmates say twin flames and so recognizing the burden from within this this coming from that inner burden of resistance when it comes to two others you and your person here and this being what was created on the outer here so this is all being a part of the process to come into some greater healing to have greater clarity and knowledge and wisdom to be able to come together with your soulmate and we'll do this here i do feel too that um This Queen of Pumpkins may have had some negative intentions. Getting a little closer look at the face here. You can see one eyebrow raise as if they're up to no good. That uh, Three of Amps is also about manifesting. So doing some, some kind of manifesting here that was creating and contributing. I shouldn't say creating. But the work here, too, also being a part of this, no longer doing the work and manifesting, being a, um, some sort of interference here. So that coming through there, too. And that being a part of the burden energy overall and this being the truth of the situation. And I do feel this applies to both you and your person. Having a queen of pumpkin, male or female energy in your life that needed to be released because it was a burden and is not a part of what is meant to be. And that felt the need to be reiterated. I feel not just for you and your person. I do feel that um, due to the interference, they needed to hear that too. Let's clarify the Wheel of Fortune. These want to come out, but then they don't. We'll go ahead and we'll take that and then we'll see what comes out. Again, let's do it again, just like we did the Ace of Swords. Wheel of Fortune. Let's clarify the Wheel of Fortune. So let's see what we have here. We have the world card. It was in reverse. And um, I feel that given the will of fortune being in your future, there's just being about a cycle that is coming to a close here. I do feel that... Um, With the delivery of this truth in the present, the will of fortune being in the future here, I feel that this is, um, as a clarifier, speaking to why things are turning in your favor is because there was a cycle here. I feel that was being manipulated. That's what I'm getting here with this world card in reverse. This being a card of 21 that comes together to a three where I'm getting a divine connection, masculine, feminine, and divine. And we can also see the energies coming through that are very similar to this Wheel of Fortune here. Where I feel it's about the universal forces that are working together here. But I do feel with this particular energy of manipulation, it's just speaking to that devil energy that's now shifting away where it was keeping you and your person stuck here. I'm seeing um, beautiful, benefic energy that's coming through connected to this. So the wheel shifting when it came to a block of blessings and manipulation, when it came to uh, major cycles coming to an end, major karmic cycles, 
this being right next to that queen of pumpkins i do feel that is about what was coming through in the manifesting doing some work here to manipulate when it came to you and your twin flame here and it being a burden so the wheel shifting on this to explain why this wheel is shifting and turning in you and your person's favor due to some manipulation when it came to the closing of karmic cycles. There being a prolonged energy here. The prolonged energy, I do feel it was about um, those four pumpkins, the four pumpkins, pumpkins being pentacles. Again, earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. So this being a part of the shadow work where you were dealing with that king of bats, but also being this uh, king of bats here too. This being about withholding energy here. There being an energy towards the past. That past energy, I'm getting this being connected to that queen of pumpkins. So having planted seeds, having intentions of moving forward, but always returning back to the past. That being a part of the manipulation there with this four pumpkins. Four is uh, more of your energy here, fourth house energy. I'm also getting the month of April, so that could be significant there too. What I'm also noticing is that leaf. And I'm just hearing manipulative, manipulated, being manipulated. Very possible here that um, you and your person were being manipulated by queen of pumpkin energy as well. So this Queen of Pumpkin doing some extensive work here when it came to you and your person, being a great part of interference when it came to closing karmic cycles here, not wanting to close cycles here, and this just being a complete burden overall here. But the evidence being here, the wheel shifting away from this as things are turning in your favor here. Things being brought to light. This moon doesn't look very happy either. I feel that this is about spirit. Everyone is seeing this. This being seen in the night. When it may have felt that it wasn't being seen in the night. Possibly being done at night here too. Yeah, being left out in the cold. Five of pumpkins. Or five of pentacles. Where for both you and your person, that manipulative energy, I'm just seeing this queen of pumpkin energy being right here as this costumed devil kid here. That's dragging the other kid here. And it being a very cold energy here too, with that snow being there. It looks nice and fluffy. And that just coming through with what came with the energy overall from the Queen of Pumpkins and the nourishment, the great amount of supply, but the material energy being important. I feel that being more based on 3D, but it feeling possibly, you know, a, a certain way and looking a certain way here too, with the soft and fluffy, but the candy, See that in the corner, the candy, the real true treat being left behind. Someone saying, come on, let's go. You don't have time for this. So that being a part of the manipulative energy that's coming through there. And seeing the jack-o'-lanterns, I was seeing this queen of pumpkin holding this pumpkin as if they were going to carve it into a jack-o'-lantern here in preparation. This being a part of the work here. Coming from this eight of pumpkin here, carving these jack-o'-lanterns. And I think that's it right there. There's no more to speak on when it comes to this. The five energy being that transformative energy, but I feel that with that manipulation, it being a part of that five energy there, and that being a part of that resistance, the denial. You and your person possibly feeling that this queen of pumpkin energy in both of your lives, you both having this particular energy there was the one for you. And so what was coming through as twin flame energy, you were in denial of this because of the shadiness and the 3D cloudiness, the jack-o'-lanterns, 
that were eye-catching and getting your attention. Being a part of that manipulative energy. Keeping you away from your candy. The will now turning in your favor here against all of this. This all being what's coming to an end here. I feel this is about the exposure. Being brought to light of what it is that was keeping this will from turning. Of you and your person coming together here. Seeing that Queen of Ghosts holding that Jack O' Lantern now there too. And the Jack O' Lantern that's leading. There's extra pumpkins in that six. And the six of bats here. And I feel that's a part of the manipulation there too between you and your person there. That was keeping you from one another here. But this overall being about what was happening from within you both. So you both relying on the truth when it came to yourself and this just delivering the truth and exposure of what was taking place in the 3D. That being a part of this wheel being here as the fire energy supporting your blessings coming through to work things in your favor for both you and your person. No longer keeping you away from your candy. And it ain't just candy. We got gold bars and <laughs> all kinds of goodies in that bag there too. It ain't just about the sweets. It's a whole lot of treasures, very deep treasures that are destined for both you and your partner. Two twin flames here. That fire being that energy that I was getting here as a part of this wheel connected to the full moon in Pisces energy with the illumination from that full moon energy. That full moon being about paying attention. And we have that right here with the Ace of Swords. This was in reverse, but there was um, overall an injustice. I feel with the presence of this card, this is speaking about justice that's coming into play. This being after, and that could also speak to this being after the Wheel of Fortune here in the Major Arcana. But injustice overall with the situation between you and your soulmate, your twin flame. The underlying energy that's bringing you back together, being connected here with the heart chakra, the color green, being strong representation of this, the 11, making that one and that one, but this being a special one and one here with this 10, being a part of that wheel energy, a part of your destiny and your fate, and then this other one coming together as this ace of sword, so this being that wheel and that ace of sword here. The truth for you both. And then things turning in your favor. Being a part of this justice overall. To bring things into balance. Going back to the seventh house energy of Libra. This being a card of Libra here. I do feel that this is divinity here. Divine overall. Letting you know. That what has been an injustice. Is now being brought to justice. Things definitely turning in your favor here. And that Sword of Truth also being right here from this Ace of Swords. Action. Part of the Emperor energy that's coming through here. And I feel that this is you and your person here, both having this fire, that being right here in that wheel. Again, twin flame energy between you both. I do feel for a lot of you as feminines, this is about your masculine. Taking the steps that are necessary to bring action to a situation here. Realizing that you both have one another's back. But you having the back of your king here. And your king wanting to return back unto you. Seeing these two flames here again. But the truth from within them is the truth from within you because you share a soul here. Leo energy coming through very strongly there. 
And I'm seeing this cat as a protector here. You see the eyes there looking at this lizard where I feel it's the latching energy, the manipulative energy coming from the queen of pumpkin energy for both you and your person. To keep you safe and protected so that you can move forward towards one another with this fire, imps being fire, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, and Ophiuchus to bring yourselves together physically and manifest this twin flame energy into the physical. Boss energy, empire energy, one who is great at um, constructing, who knows what they want and they go for it. They use that fire and put it into what it is that they're passionate about and that was coming through here. Also, great spirituality here, too. I feel the tools gained from the experience, no matter how manipulative this was, had to do with that practicality. So learning how to be independent rather than codependent when it came to the practical world. And appreciating and recognizing the spirituality that was taking place here with that Queen of Ghosts. And the king of bats, that being great spiritual energy between you and your person there. With unconditional love, but then also the telepathy and the great intelligence and knowledge and wisdom from both energies. But it just being used in a more 3D sense and that being about the work that's coming through to gain greater clarity about the truth of you and your person here. And now having that truth and that knowledge and that strong, that very strong knowing fire being put into this coming together. Beautiful energy here for you Cancer Moons. This was your reading. I hope that these messages were helpful, enlightening, enriching, and empowering for you. I thank you all so much for your continued love and support. This is, um, this is superb. This is superb. Continue to enjoy the rightful love that you deserve that's coming in for you and the specialness and the significance of this history-making partnership here that's going to make great changes for the better. Foundations that are built on truth and love, unconditional love. Do enjoy this to the fullest. Welcome to all new subscribers, and um, until we meet again, I wish you all the very best, so much the very best. Take great care. I love you. Peace.